welcome back in today's video we are going to make a very creamy mac and cheese and I'm going to eat this with some good pinto beans the pinto beans that you saw in a previous video where I cooked in my slow cooker in this video we're not going to go through the pinto beans but we're just going to do a nice creamy mac and cheese and I also use my homemade yogurt and sour cream and those links for that video would be in the cards above and also how I cook my pinto beans and I had some bacon with that. Let's go! To start I'm going to make a roux, I'm going to melt some butter and add some flour and you want to cook that flour and you want to patch it properly make sure it is properly well cooked you don't want that raw flour you taste because you would taste it eh? and once that is cooked I am going to start to add in my milk then my heavy cream and then I am going to mix everything around and then slowly start to add in my cheese what is starting to melt keep mixing keep mixing and you want everything to be properly well incorporated I added some parsley smoked, pap smoked paprika and thyme and then I mix that in normally you would use elbow but I'm using shell then I'm going to add some of my sour cream and I did add a little bit of my uh, cream cheese in this and also some yogurt but you know you don't need to all add all of that okay but all of my links would be above because I have all those recipes so mix everything in in my pre-greased pan I am going to add my creamy macarone and then I'm going to add some more cheese on top of that and I am going to put that in the broiler for 10 to 15 minutes it all depends on how nice and crusty you want the outside and how ooey gooey you want the cheese now you could add the, the, the macaroni in layers but I didn't add it in layers I just add all of the macaroni in there because I know I already put macaroni in the I mean I already put um, cheese in the roux so I didn't need to add any extra so I baked it in the broiler and that's the end of this mac and cheese let me take out a little slice for you all it was really really soft and ooey gooey with cheese as i said you could add layers you could add even though you put it in the roux cheese in the roux you can still add layers of cheese when you put it in your baking pan so it would be even more cheesy but i didn't i just add cheese in the roux and add cheese on the top of it and as i said i enjoyed this with my pinto beans and the pinto beans will also be in the cast sprinkle some bacon and uh, that's it ladies and gentlemen very delicious delicious cheat day meal comfort food that's what that is good comfort food on those days when you need to cheat when you're not diet every single day or not just that let's say a healthy lifestyle change you're on and you just want to do where you eat something real good and comforting mm -mm -mm. but yeah this was it for me that day Mm-hmm. I'm telling you <laughs> and all the links as I mentioned for all the other um, ingredients that was used that um, in this video would be in the cards and the end screen don't forget to check them out and I have also a video on how to make a good roux so because I didn't go into too much details here and here is the links for some of the videos that was mentioned to you in this video Thanks so much. I hope this was helpful. Any other information, leave a message in the comments.